guys, thanks for coming back with me. Uh, I am new to doing this. I've done YouTube videos before in the past, uh, but they were for a totally different industry. Um, so I am a little nervous. Um, but yeah, so I'm back. I'm doing the beard oil kit that I got from Wholesale uh, Supplies Plus. Um, I did a video unboxing of that stuff. So um, I did decide to go ahead and wash out my uh, bottles for the bigger bottles. Um, so that I could put it in this and then transfer it into the smaller bottles. If you watched the uh, unboxing video, you would have seen that there was some two ounce bottles. I figured it would be easier to transfer from here to there in the bigger bottles. So I went with that. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get started. This is a pretty basic, at least it looks basic. We'll see if it's any complications uh, to me or not. Um, recipe for beard oil. Um, and I do have a scale underneath here. Uh, so, in case you were wondering, uh, so I'm going to zero that out. And the first thing we have to do is measure out 12 ounces of sweet almond oil. It's going to be about two thirds of this container. I don't want it to splash. So, I'm putting that in there. Almost. Right there. So you do get a little bit extra of this. There's about this much left in there. Uh, and then it says to add three mils of vitamin E, which is right here. I guess I should have pre-opened these, but I didn't think about that. Hopefully I don't have anybody watching it that has the, uh, there's a, a condition where they don't like the sound of peeling paper. Hopefully nobody here has that. Don't want to offend. Now this stuff seems a little thick. Okay, so there's two. And then I just need one more. Oh. See how much we have when we get the air bubble out of there. Okay, so that's another one. Okay, so you have extra vitamin E oil. So I'll have to find a cold, dark place to put that when I am done. And then we got to open up this bad boy. Again, I love the fact that they tape these shut. Um, hopefully the bottles aren't sticky from it, but we'll see. Uh, and you get a big bottle of this, and you only need... Um, let's see. Point four. Or four. Wow, 0.4. So that's one. That's three. So I'm going to need. Ooh, this stuff smells good. Okay. Uh, so you do get a lot of extra. Um, as I said, this is a uh, two fluid ounce bottle and you only need four milliliters of this so you wouldn't need to repurchase this the next time you make the beard oil. I did realize I just missed a step. Hopefully it's not going to screw me up too bad. Um, I did not put in the jojoba oil or the walnut oil before I started um, doing this because uh, I'm a dork and can't read but uh, I'm pretty sure it's because it's just mixing up all the ingredients and everything. So I'm going to zero out because uh, you have to do two ounces of this. I think they pretty much pre-measure this one, but we shall see. Yeah, it's pre-measured to exactly two. Okay. So that is done. Um, I'm going to click.
clear it out again. And we're going to do the same thing again. This is a nice way to spend my day off. I work overnight, like I said, uh, in the um, unboxing video. I work overnight in a call center and uh, was looking for a new hobby to keep me busy. So this, I think, will do the trick. Um, I'm liking this so far, and this stuff smells really great. Let's see. So we need two ounces of walnut oil in here. Okay, so that was pre-measured out. So you're going to have a little bit left over of the um, almond oil, the vitamin E, and a lot of the amber and, um, what is it? Amber and incense oil, uh, which I'm not mad at because that smell is really, it's light and it's, it's manly, but it's light and I like it. Okay. Um, I did forget to get a, uh, stirring utensil. So I'm going to grab that from over here. I'm going to turn off my measurement. <laughs> Okay, sorry if you heard that noise. Uh, I had to pause the recording and go up and turn my alarm clock off. Um, my daughter had come over to visit. And uh, I was awoken earlier than I normally do. And forgot to shut off the alarm because I was half asleep. Anyway, it doesn't say how long, um, how long you need to stir it for. So... It just says stir to incorporate, so I guess that's what I'm doing. I'm stirring to incorporate. It smells really nice. Um, you could actually, I think you could get away with using this as a lady's hair serum for like the tips of your hair. It doesn't smell manly like I thought it was. Um, so that's a bonus, Jonas. Oh, it smells so good. I just want to take a bath in this. It's so nummy. Okay. So that looks like it is that. I'm going to try to pour it in this bottle. I probably needed a fennel, but, you know, live on the edge, right? wipe that off with. But I did put paper towels down. Um, oh my gosh, I want to use this stuff on my hair. Forget beard oil. It smells good. I'll wipe that down. You could label it really nicely with a nice manly looking label for the guys. You could put it in a, a froofy girl bottle for the girls. Um, I think this is a unisex smell. It smells delicious. So we shall see how this goes. This may be a hit. It just takes a little while to pour it in there. It's not real thick. Um, I have gloves on, but it feels really light. So, yeah. Definitely. I could see doing a um, a cold press soap with this too, or something, or you know, um, I almost put an empty uh, a cap on an empty bottle instead of on the full one. Wow, way to go! Um, but yeah, you could do like a little line so they could layer stuff, and I mean, I ain't mad at the smell. I'm telling you. And it's okay. I was like, I don't think there's enough for four bottles in there, but I guess there is. My eyeball just doesn't eyeball well with that. My other lid back there. 
Okay, I guess I'll have to uh, find it after the video is done. Again, I'm sorry if this is poor quality, but um, this is from my cell phone. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, if it's going to turn out at all. But we'll see. And oh, it's going to work out just perfect. Maybe. No, there's a little bit left. I'll have to. I shorted one of these just a little bit. I'm going to set this one over the side because my cat fell under my. I have a cutting board underneath here and it fell underneath there. So I'm going to have to go under. Go down under. You know, they label this as beard oil, but I'm telling you ladies, the smell of this is something I would want on my hair. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ba bottle up um, the sample size ones for some people I work with. Uh, I'm going to give some to my husband. I did this for dual purpose. Um, A, my husband rocks and tells me that everything is awesome. I don't know if it always is, but he tells me that it is, so we're going with that. Um, but I wanted some outside opinions on what they thought of um, what I was making, uh, what they thought of the scent, if it was too strong, not strong enough, uh, you know, that kind of a thing, because if I'm going to be learning how to make this to eventually make profit, um, I would like to know that I have something that's good and not just something that my husband says, it's awesome, because that's just the level of a man that he is. Um, anyway, uh, that is the end of this video, the end of me showing you how I made the beard oil. Um, I'm probably going to do the sugar scrub. You'll probably see this same shirt, which is from my friend Ka. He sent it to me. Um, I will probably be doing the same shirt because I'm doing these on my days off. So uh, I do apologize. I know some people get annoyed when they see two videos in a row that have the same shirt on. Um, you would actually be seeing three or four videos depending on whether I cut the unboxing in half uh, because again I work nights I get two days off so anyway I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make this um, I would try to answer any questions but it's really self-explanatory for the beard oil I feel I feel like the instructions were in depth and they went um, they I followed it along and even with me going out of order with the jojoba oil and the walnut oil uh, it still turned out perfectly fine. The smell is divine. It's not too girly, so a man's going to love it, but a girl could put it in her hair and, you know, uh, get away with it. It's an awesome thing. So uh, I'm going to have to take my gloves off and uh, so I can turn off the camera. And I hope to see you guys in some other videos. And I enjoy watching the soapers and, and so forth that I have found. You guys have a great day.